Hi, I want to introduce myself to all the members of the National Association for Gun Rights and the pro Second Amendment community as a whole. My name is Lawrence DeMonico and I'm the president of Rare Breed Triggers. We're known for selling the FRT-15 forced reset trigger. The reason for this video today is that I wanted to announce publicly that I'm working with the National Association for Gun Rights to bring legal action against the ATF. The ATF is trying to set the groundwork to ban all semi-automatic firearms by redefining what a semi-automatic trigger actually is. And NAGR is filing a suit in the Northern District of Texas to put a stop to their overreach. The ATF is trying to set the groundwork to ban all semi-automatic firearms by redefining what a semi-automatic trigger actually is. And NAGR is filing a suit in the Northern District of Texas to put a stop to their overreach. The ATF has a history of reinterpreting federal law in an attempt to expand what firearms accessories are illegal. They tried it with bump stocks, arm braces, 80% receivers, and now they're claiming force reset triggers or machine guns. The ATF has a history of redefining absurd objects as machine guns, like when they tried to define a shoestring as a machine gun in 2004. And that's exactly what they're doing again. It has always been my position and continues to be my position that the FRT-15 and other similar force reset triggers are not machine guns as defined by federal law. It's very simple. With a force reset trigger like the FRT-15, only one round is fired per rearward function of the trigger, and the trigger is reset between every round that is fired. It really doesn't get any more simple than that. Rare Breed Triggers began selling the FRT-15 forced reset trigger in December of 2020 after having the design analyzed by multiple legal and firearm experts. By January 13th of 2021, the ATF had launched an all-out assault on us. The ATF tried to justify this by saying multiple concerned citizens had reached out to them regarding my product. However, FOIA requests proved that there wasn't even a record of one single citizen ever reaching out to them. On July 26th of 2021, the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms issued a cease and desist letter to stop selling forced reset triggers. When we met with them the very next day, we were informed they no longer wanted us to sell the item. Well, we knew they were wrong. So in August, we filed suit against them for the very first time. On January 13th of 2022, one year to the day of when they launched their assault, the ATF issued a law enforcement notice regarding our triggers. And then they began showing up distributors to seize product. And by March, they had raided our manufacturer. In April of last year, they stopped me while driving a vehicle. I was in New Mexico and they had seized almost 2,000 forced reset triggers from me. Despite that seizure, they never charged me with a crime, which begs the question, why seize the product? And while all this is happening, the ATF was raiding, even arresting and charging law-abiding citizens for possession of forced reset triggers, which they were calling machine guns, despite the fact that the product we are selling has always been functionally a semi-automatic trigger as the law is written. So here we are now. We've worked together with the National Association for Gun Rights to get a lawsuit filed against the ATF in the Northern District of Texas. I've been saying this since day one, and here I am saying it again. We will not cave to baseless government overreach. And we wanted to team up with a gun rights group that refuses to compromise on the Second Amendment to fight alongside us. In fact, the National Association for Gun Rights is the only group who would pick up the phone for me and the only group who has assisted me throughout this fight. The lawsuit is National Association for Gun Rights v. Garland, which NAGR just filed in federal court in the Northern District of Texas. This is the exact same judicial circuit that just ruled earlier this year that bump stocks are not machine guns in Cargill v. Garland. That means all we should have to do is ask the district court to follow Cargill, which says that the ATF doesn't get to invent laws that say bump stocks or forced reset triggers, as in this case, are illegal when Congress hasn't said that. NAGR's lawsuit simply asks the court to apply the same reasoning to our forced reset triggers. And that's why we're confident that we're gonna win. But we expect the ATF to put up a fight, a big fight. They want to continue infringing your rights. So here it is. Here's the call to action. We need your help. I need your help. There is a link in the description of this video, and also there's a pinned comment below. We need you to join us in the fight by contributing to the lawsuit fund. We're going up against a rogue executive agency defended by Department of Justice attorneys. Now, I'm going to be very frank, and I'm just going to say it. We need your help, and there's a chance 
that we may not be able to see this through to the end without your help. But with that said, there's another point I'd like to bring up. When you click the link and make a donation, part of that donation will be used to cover your membership to NAGR. Now let me explain why that's such a big deal. One of the first moves NAGR will be making in this litigation is to file for a preliminary injunction to prevent the DOJ and ATF from initiating or pursuing civil or criminal actions against the plaintiffs in this case. And here's the mic drop. NAGR is suing on behalf of its members, so each and every member of NAGR should be covered by an injunction should one be granted by the court. And just so you all are aware, this isn't unlikely at all. This isn't a stretch. We've recently seen similar injunctive relief granted to another group's members in a pistol briefs case. Now I need to be very clear, this is not a promise, but it is highly probable. If injunctive relief is granted, great. But if not, you can rest assured that your donation will be used to support this fight. Now, I want to thank you for listening, and most of all, I want to thank you for your help. Please be sure to share this video with anyone and everyone you know that owns or wants to own a force reset trigger and might want to join us in the fight. Thank you very much.